three, five, who had never walked all alive, but would rather be crawling about like a crocodile. She was under the ministration of her father in the Lord. And after his prayers on a particular day during the ministration, when everybody said, Amen. Okay, you love to say it. Say it again. Yeah. After the last amen here tonight, something great will happen to you. Yeah. After the last amen that day, the woman who never walked for 35 years from her bath, she got up on her two feet and began to walk. She's still walking today. Even after the program, a visit was made to her to discuss with her, to further confirm the woman is rejoicing in the Lord today, now walking about. Get ready. Whatever has held you down, paralysis, lameness, blindness, it is your turn to have dominion. Just a few days ago, this same man of God who is with us here tonight as he was ministering in Yenegua by his estate. A woman began to listen to testimonies of what God had begun to do. She was at that program. And then she, re she remembered that that was a man who had been blinded for about 19 years. And she decided to go and bring that man to the program. This man I'm talking about is not an African. And the place where this man was brought to, not in Africa. I'm telling you what happened in faraway Canada. A white man, a Canadian. The woman went and brought the man and that man, that same day, like a dream to him, after the prayer of the man of God, his eyes, which have been blind for years, were opened. <laughs> praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Get ready. Your miracle will not bypass you. The good things you are designing from the Lord which brought you here will happen to you in Jesus' name. We're listening to Abel Kutakoya now.